Culture Days is evolving in different ways in different parts of Canada. And I was wondering if you could speak to us a little bit about what's developing in New Brunswick. Well, New Brunswick is a unique community to begin with because it is a bilingual community. So the first um, course of action when you're trying to do something on a provincial scale is, of course, to engage both the Francophone and the Anglophone artistic communities, which are, in fact, very separate um, in, in, our, in our province. So I had the pleasure of being co-chair along with Marie-Thérèse Terrio, um, who represented more of the Francophone uh, aspect of our province. Um, the other thing that's very interesting about New Brunswick is we have three urban centres, which are Moncton, St. John and Fredericton, and the rest of the, of the community is, is rural. And how do you reach out to those rural communities has been a tremendous challenge, or we thought would be a tremendous challenge. I think what we were most surprised about uh, with Culture Days is that we did actually engage from year one those, uh, those very rural communities. Um, we had individual artists participate in tiny communities of 200 people. Um, we had churches involved. We had small businesses involved. Um, we had schools participating in Culture Days in the large centers, of course, but I think what was more important in the context of New Brunswick, because it is so rural, is to have so much participation at that rural level. And that's been an aspect that has uh, grown substantially in the last two years of Culture Days, is that, is that um, grass grassroots, uh, rural aspect to, um, to Culture Days in our province. And of course, uh, the, the three urban hubs uh, have been very, very active, but, um, but what's been more interesting for those of us who are organizers is engaging those smaller communities right across the province. And sorry, just as a follow-up, um, what do you think is some of the reasons that those small communities have been so interested in being engaged? Uh, I think that... Um, on a provincial scale, those are the communities that are often left out when it comes to arts and culture. Uh, most of the activities, our large organizations, of course, are all located in the urban centers. So it's not that we don't have artists in those communities, but we don't engage those artists or have them participate on, on a provincial scale. So uh, I would say that Culture Days in New Brunswick has, had a, has a very large unifying effect um, in bringing those small communities together. Um, and, and, and also the, uh, the website is wonderful and that you can actually see uh, what's going on in every little nook and cranny, corner, small village and, and large community across the province. So they feel like they're part of something bigger. And uh, so Culture Days has, uh, has been extremely positive in New Brunswick. It has uh, allowed us to bring together not just the Francophone and Anglophone communities, but the rural and ur urban communities as well. Thank you so much. Thank you.